Today, let's talk about the expectation of the random variable x. The expectation of x, often written e with a capital X, is the expected value of x, or you can interpret it as the mean value of x. Let's continue now with the expected value of x. The expectation, e to the x, is a measure of central tendency. So we talked about mean, median, and mode being measures of central tendency. E x, or the expected value of x, is also a measure of central tendency, but it's not just based on the value of x. We're not just going to add them up and divide how many there are. We're going to take a weighted probability, with the weighting being the probability associated with each value of x. So with the idea of expected value, with the expectation, we're talking about two things. One, we're talking about what is the mean, and two, the probability. We both need the value and the probability. Continuing with the expectation of the discrete random variable x. For the discrete random variable x with the probability distribution, probability that our capital discrete random variable is equal to some value, then we find out this is what you need to know. The expectation or the expected value is the sum of 1 to n of some value, whatever your value is there, you're going to put there, times the probability of that value. So this looks like a hard concept. You might say, I don't understand this. All they're asking you to do is sum together each of our individual probabilities. For heads or tail, for, for the number of heads and two flips of a coin, we can have 0, 1, or 2. So you're going to put 0, 1, or 2 there. And then you're going to find the probability associated with each one and add them up. You can think of this as a weighted average. It's also considered uh, a long-run average. The expectation is what you would expect if, if the experiment were carried out a large number of times. Although we might not be able, to, we might not be able to observe the actual expected value we find. For example, a family that has 2.4 children—that's the expected value. Well, you can't have 2.4 children, even though our long-run average or our weighted average shows 2.4 children. For example. Here is a straightforward example of the expectation of the discrete random variable. A fair die is rolled once. If the random variable capital X denotes the number showing, find the expected value of X. In other words, find E of capital X. Well, we know that that's going to be the sum of, from uh, X equals I to X equals N, of X times the probability that X equals our particular X. So we've got that. This is going to be x equals 1, sorry. So we're going to start at 1, and we're going to take our value of x times the probability of that x. It's just value times probability. Well, what are the possible values if a fair dial is rolled once? The discrete random variable can take on 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, or 6 when a die is rolled. Well, what's the probability associated with each of these? 1, 6, 1, 6, 1, 6, 1, 6, 1, 6, 1, 6. So far, that's all we have. We have, what could our possible small x be? Discrete random variable can take on discrete values. And what is the probability associated with each one of these? We've just constructed a probability table. That's the first step. Well, here is that same probability distribution set up. My discrete random variable values are here. The probability of each is here. I know that the expected value, the long run average of this is going to be the sum of from 1 to n of xi p, x equals xi. There's my discrete random variable. Well, what does that mean? How do you get this mess into actual math? Well, it says I have to substitute each of my x's in there. My x's are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. And you have to multiply them by their individual probabilities. Well, look, the probability of 1 is 1 over 6. The probability of 2 is 1 over 6, and it's the same for each of these. It just happens to be like that because this is rolling a die. Once I have that, I know I have to take the sum of them. Take the sum by adding them. And when you do that, you get the expected value. When you do all the math, it's 3.5 or 3.5. So the average score, if you roll a die, is 3.5 based on the expected value. Here's another example of expectation. For the random variable x, that's capital X, with this dis probability distribution. Now, no, that's what we need. We know that our formula says we have to sum 
from i equals 1 to i equals n, xi times probability x equals xi. In other words, we need our value times the probability, which is straightforward. It's 1 times 1 over 10, plus, because we're summing, 2 times 2 over 10, plus, because we're summing, 3 times 3 over 10, plus 4 times 4 over 10. And when you do that problem out, you get a answer of 3. Our expected value is 3. Now if I ask you to find the mode, you'd say the mode is 4 because it has the greatest probability. And the median would be halfway between these. Well, if we're having 4 out of 10, so halfway between would be uh, 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. It would be in this category. Here would be our median because it would be halfway through the data. I'm just considering if I had 10 data points, then this would be halfway through the data. And again, my mode would be the one with the greatest probability, and I just found my expected value, which can be interpreted as the mean.